Hey y'all, Deanna here. Um, if you've been watching my videos, then you know my very first video we did some shrimp and grits, and I had actually done that with some leftover shrimp. Um, we went to the beach yesterday, had a beautiful day there. As you can see, my nose is a little bit red. So, um, so tonight we brought back some fresh shrimp, and I'm going to show you how I usually boil my shrimp. Um, very simple, very quick. I also brought back a couple pieces of flounder, and I'm going to put them in the oven. Um, so to start with, I have a little bit of water in this pot. Let me go ahead and be cutting it up. And I have a bottle of beer. It's not something I drink, but it is something that I occasionally cook with. Oh, that's my oven beeping, y'all. And any kind of beer will do. Just whatever's cheap, whatever, whatever. If you're a beer drinker, if it's whatever you got on hand, it's fine. I probably wouldn't use anything that was like a... Um, you know, some of that stuff that they make in flavors like pumpkin spice and all that stuff, don't be doing all that. Um, apple vinegar. You can use white vinegar, but I prefer apple vinegar because it's a little bit sweeter for my shrimp. So, and y'all know I ain't got no measurements, so I'm sorry. I'm just kind of eyeballing everything, but this will give you an idea of how I do it. Um, I got some sea salt here, and I'm about out, so I might have to... I might have to substitute some regular salt in here too. And you can use regular salt if you don't have sea salt. I usually do put right much salt in here with this. Um, sometimes I slice up a lemon and actually boil the lemon in here with it. I don't have any fresh lemon tonight, but I do have some lemon juice that I'm gonna put in here. And I know that looks like a lot, but I promise you it's not gonna taste lemony. Let me go ahead and get this heat up. Y'all hear that cat outside me now? He, he, he must smell the shrimp in here. A little pat of butter. Maybe another little pat of butter. Probably didn't have to have that much. Okay, and here goes my spices. A little bit of onion powder. Quite a lot. Some black pepper. And some garlic powder. You can also put garlic salt in here too, if that's what you got on hand. And this is some, um, again, from that spice bouquet place that I told y'all about in my other video. This is Creole seasoning. It's not real spicy, but have a good little, it's kind of like Old Bay. It smells a lot like, a lot like Old Bay too. Ooh, I got that stuff in my nose now. And y'all, I love my small bay. And this is a brand new thing that I should sure have prepped and ready to go. But that's all right. We can open it. I'm just going to put that on my plate for two. So let's get the fat side. Okay. Lots and lots of old bay. All right. I think I'm going to need a little bit more water. What I like to do is whatever beer you use after you've emptied that, just fill that back up with some water. So, excuse me just a minute while I get a little bit of water here. And hopefully that's gonna be enough now. You don't need a whole lot of water. So. Got beer, apple juice, lemon juice, water, spices, a little bit of butter. And pour the heck of it, let's put a little bit more old buddy in here. Okay, nice pretty red cup. And I'm gonna let that cut that on up. As soon as that starts boiling, that's when I'm gonna drop my shrimp in. Oops, I thought I had wrong one. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to boil, I already got my oven at 350. And I'm going to get my flounder ready. I wanted some sea mullets, but I don't know if the sea mullets won't bite me or if, or if um, somebody had just bought them all up. But it's all right. We got some flounder for rice. And y'all know, if you're from the South, people like to fry their fish. There's nothing like a good piece of fried fish. So we're trying to be healthy. And I'm going to put this in the oven. And I promise you, it's going to be just as good as if it were fried. And we know these are good and fresh. 
right off the boat where we bought them. Now this is a darker piece. I like the um, I like the wider piece. I like chicken. This is just whatever you like the best. The um, and just like chicken, that dark piece is going to be a little bit juicier, a little bit sweetier. Sweetier. Was that a word? Sweetier. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say sweet. And it's just breakfast. Okay. A little bit of salt. Ooh, that's a lot. I don't know why, but I like to use sea salt whenever I'm doing seafood. Sea salt, seafood. I don't know. It's probably don't make much difference. But... Oh, garlic. I've got to get me some fresh garlic, I'll tell you. I'm just out of a lot of stuff. You know, the quarantine going on. We ain't been going to the grocery stores often, and, but we sure have been eating, ain't we? Ain't too good. All right, salt, pepper, garlic, the basics. Old Bay. And you, again, if y'all watched the shrimp and grit video that I did, you shrimp and grit, shrimp and grits, you'll know that um, I use right much Old Bay in that recipe. And I'm just a little bit of butter that I had melted and I really messed up because I should have put the butter on there before I put my spices, but that's okay. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit up here. And don't use margarine, y'all. Don't don't do it. Don't use that old oily mess. You if you're gonna if you're gonna do it, just go on and get you some real butter. Now if you want to be just a little bit healthier, don't use the butter at all. Just spray it with a little bit of olive oil. That's okay too. Perfectly alright. In fact I'm gonna Probably just, just really, really, really like to put that on there. Okay, so my oven is at 350, and these aren't very big. They're not gonna take them too long, I don't know. Probably about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And you can see this is getting ready to boil. I want this shrimp to come to a full boil, this shrimp roux or water, whatever you wanna call it. Let me smell it, let's see if it smells right. Oh yeah, yeah, it smells good. I go by smell. I go by taste and I go by smell. I'm weird like that. So why uh, that's almost, almost to a boil. I'm gonna make me a little bit more um, sauce for dipping later. So let me boil this little bit of butter here. I'm gonna boil it over and get my shrimp ready. It's getting ready to boil. Now what I want to do is, let me cut this off. What I want to do is get this shrimp in here as quickly as possible. Because I want them all, you know what, I hope I don't burn myself. Y'all might be getting ready to see a boo-boo. Huh? Put them in the bowl and pour them in. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That is a good idea. He's over there whispering, y'all. He said, pour them in the bowl first. You might have to get on the other side. I don't know how to see this. I don't want to splatter myself, but I am trying to get them in here pretty quick. And you can tell, I should use my stainless steel bowl. Um, okay, now that they're all in there, Make them spread them out and make them even. Now these are medium shrimp, medium sized shrimp with the heads off. You can cook them with the heads on. Some people prefer to cook them with the heads on because they like they feel like it gives them a little bit more flavor. You know, like chicken on the bone, shrimp with the heads. Um I just usually get the ones with heads off, and I do not like to shell them and then boil them. Some people do that also. Again, that's just a matter of preference. I do feel like that they are, um, the shell kind of retains that moisture in them. It's easier for me to tell when they get done, actually, if the shells are on it. 
And it, I think it gives them more flavor too. Now, it will not take these long. The worst thing you can do is overcook your shrimp. I'm gonna put that tip right back where it was at. So, you saw me do all the prep, the water, once it came to a full boil, I put them in, and I promise you that's not gonna take long. You can see it's already starting to boil up just a little bit. It already smells good. So, let me go ahead and be getting my Different sauces ready. Now I like to do melted butter and Old Bay, and then sometimes I'll do a cup of um, just a cocktail. But what I was my favorite to do is to take cocktail and butter and mix it half and half. Now this is just. This is just some Harris Teeter brand cocktail sauce or something, uh, but I usually like that okay. But I tell you, a really good um, store brand cocktail sauce is the Food Line brand Bold. That's really good. But this got a little bit more horseradish flavor to it. I'm gonna heat this up just a little bit. Tomatoes and vinegar, you know, staple of the sun in summer, too. These cucumbers just come off the vine a few minutes ago because we're picking right out of Daddy's garden. The tomatoes weren't quite ready. In fact, the tomatoes are green, so somebody had asked me about doing fried green tomatoes. That's not something I do very often. I have done it before, but um, y'all stick with us and I'll do some fried green tomatoes when those tomatoes are ready. We'll go over there and find some that are just right and try to do those. I'm just, I'll be right back if you want to watch the shrimp. I'm just going to stick this over here right now. This is just going to be a simple meal. See, that stuff's getting ready to really come start boiling. Let me check my fish. It's looking good, but it's got a few minutes. Probably where we're going to speed up the camera because y'all not going to want to watch a pot boil. What's that saying? A watched pot never boils. Oh, something else that I was going to tell you about the shrimp. Some people like to devein them. And it depends on how clean the shrimp are, in my opinion. I'm not going to go through that process. I mean, that's shrimp too. Um, you can devein them, make them a little, little bit neater. Takes it's aggravating to do to me, but um, I don't, I'm gonna get all kinds of negativity probably on that, but shrimp is shrimp and it's going in a pot and we're eating it not to bait. But if there's real big fat ones, they do probably need to be deveined sometimes. But these, like I said, these are medium with the heads off. How much were these shrimp a pound yesterday? Do you remember, Mark? I don't even remember what they cost. I think they're about $8 a pound. I mean, and we, this is three pounds of shrimp right here. So this is, y'all, we might be doing leftover shrimps too, but now when we're just eating shrimp and fish, we can put away some shrimp. It's a delicious meal. I'm very thankful that we live near the coast. <laughs> Stepping on dog toys. And this is, um. Uh, Y'all don't need a recipe for this. If y'all from the South and especially from the Carolinas, you already know what this is. Cucumbers with some black pepper and apple vinegar and tomatoes. Some people can put a little sugar in there. If you have red onion, you might want to cut up a little red onion in it. Some people even do a little squirt of mayo in it. Duke's mayo, of course. So that's a, that's a good little healthy snack too. I'm gonna put this on.
Now you want to be coming to, to a full ball pretty soon. Okay, now. Alright, y'all see, that's a full ball. They cut to a full bowl. Don't cook them no longer. Take them right off that heat. Don't want to overcook them, and they'd be rubbery. So, as you can see, this I have this strainer. Now, I do have a bigger pot that has a strainer already in it, and all I have to do is lift it up. But it's it's a really tall pot, and I usually save that for my um, seafood bowl. Which, by the way, is another thing that we will do someday soon. Now that it's summer, we'll do. Uh, Oil. Okay, so I'm gonna put this over here. I'm probably getting ready to steam up the camera. We'll have some cold water while I'm doing this. See how nice and pink they are? Just the right color. Ooh, they're steaming too, ain't they? I'll steam that camera up. All right. Let me put this over here so it won't drip all over the floor. All right, we'll go to the table. Now, another tip I like to do. I like to put my shrimp out on newspaper because I don't want it sitting in that pot and getting soggy. I like to sit it out like that. Let me spread it out a little bit. And we're gonna eat it right off this newspaper, y'all. Look at them nice spices. Usually I would have a lemon wedge right up in the middle of that, but I guess we'll do that next time. That looks so good. I'm gonna pick one up and eat it right now, but I know it's really, really hot, so. I'm just gonna leave it there for a moment and try it in that nice little juice. Let's go check the fish. Oh, by the way, all that stuff I just threw in the sink, that's the juice that I was referring to in the shrimp and grit um, video that we did. Some people actually keep that broth or, or roux or whatever you want to call it and boil their shrimp in. But I mean, they're not their shrimp, their grits in. But remember, I did my grits in the milk and the um, chicken broth mixture. I think these need to be cooked just a little bit more, but it's not gonna take them long. Yeah, just a little bit more. Okay, y'all. I got the shrimp laid out on the paper, cooling out a little bit, and I think this fish is ready. Now what I did do, I, I cut the cut it under the broiler just a couple of minutes. And y'all watch this. You're gonna love this little trick if I can take this um well I say you are let me make sure I got it make sure it's click. Make sure you hear that click. And there she is. So they probably went in there no more than I don't know. Twelve minutes, something like that. I'm breaking apart. Daggone it, but that's all right. You know what? That eats too. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. This one, this one here is a little fatter. You can have this one. Uh -huh. Nice, wonderful lay. Yep. Okay. Let's do table with our shrimp. which I'm going to try right now. Let me get us out something to drink too. Now, what I like to do is take that tail, if you're not, if you're not used to eating a lot of boiled shrimp, and pinch it back and kind of pull it. And it comes off like that and see how it's got a little hole there? And then take, I got shrimp juice all in my nails. Y'all don't look at my nails. Take the little feetsies, or whatever they're called, and peel it around like that. And there you got a clean shrimp. I can do them a lot quicker than that, but for the purpose of this video, and there's my little sauce I made up. Let's see how they taste. Good, good and saturated there. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Just right. Okay? We're getting ready to say our blessings, y'all. Please don't forget to say your blessings. Please give thanks. We have so much to be thankful for right now. And any time for that matter. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.